First bite of the morning. I'm bad with the camera stuff still, so just started fishing. A little four pounder from Lake Toho. Fished with these guys yesterday at Butler and we didn't catch anything big, so I brought them here today and this is our first bite. It's going, isn't it? Yeah. Is he taking line? All right, let him take it for a second. Get him. Real, 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 real. Yeah, keep, just keep your rod tip up. Don't drop your rod tip. Just keep it up. You got to reel yours in real quick, but just reel it in real fast, real fast. There you go. That was a quiet bite, wasn't it? Yeah, keep keep your keep your rod over the side there just so it doesn't tangle up because this is going decent fish. That was a at least you're on the board now. No, yeah. And you caught him on the bait caster. Kind of a crazy looking fish there. Did yours go down? Did something pull on it? Yeah, a little bit. You, keep your shot when you reel them in though, try and keep them uh, see you gotta keep his head in the water. Anytime you're holding them out of the water, that would be the same as if I was holding you underwater. They can't breathe. I'll show you how to rig a wild shiner here. Got a two aught kale hook. Sometimes I'll use three aught. This is a two aught. Summertime. Less weight for the shiners to carry around. I'm gonna go right in through that thin membrane there, underneath its mouth, come out through its nostril. Just like that. It's ready to go. And a nine pounder's got to come and eat it. Hopefully. Oh, that's him. That's your dad. Okay. There you go. Nice job, Dad. It's nice that you guys are all taking turns too. So you're, you'll be next again. Decent. Sure's down too? No, it's uh No, but down there. Okay. Watch out there's an anchor line there. Man, I thought he was gonna be bigger than that. <laughs> Didn't you? The way he was pulling? Dad, you want a picture? No, I'm okay. There we go. Nice. Just keep waiting. You got you can wait for a while. Is, is he peeling line out? Yeah. Alright, that's good. There you go. Keep that rod tip up though. Just one just keep it up and reel. There you go. Don't need to pump a wind. Hey, bring your rod see he's running to the right, so bring your rod to the left. There you go. Whichever direction they're trying to run from you. Like if they're running to the right, bring your rod the opposite direction. You know what I mean? Not as big, but it is another one. Get up here. Oh, fat little joker. Look how fat that little thing is. Decent one. Little guy, but fat. He hit it the right way. He crushed yeah. on the surface and ran away from the boat. 
like they're supposed to do? When you're when you're holding this, are you holding it like this? Yeah. So that's fine when you're first starting out, but you're gonna notice when you're when you're doing this, the the reel handles in front of you, yeah. in front of your hand, and when you reel, sometimes it'll yeah it'll go like this, and you get a much better control over it. And you're you got big enough hands to hold to put that trigger right there between your oh, last fingers, okay. right there, so you're cupping the reel. Okay. See that? Yeah. Now when you cast, when you're first starting out, you're gonna want to come down like this. But as you get older and, and, and more used to it, I, my hand never switches from this right here. And some people will even hold it between those hands, but mo these reels are kind of made to be, to be able to hold them like this. Yeah. And you just have, then you have the whole reel in your hand and you have more control over it. There you go. No pressure, I'm, I'm gonna record you casting here. Look at that. Oh, yours just went down. Came back up though. It's way easier to hold it like this. Yeah, it feels better, doesn't it? Yeah, when you just pistol grip them like that you, and you get a real big fish on, you're gonna get, it just makes it wobbly. It's like holding, a, when people hold, I get a lot of people that, Want, that don't fish a lot to hold their spinning rods down here and then when they start reeling it's going all over the place yeah. and then then I then I'll get them to hold it here but it's even better here with the spinner reel when you guys were holding yours right to hold it to split it how's he doing dip him he's good Oh, oh, one just blew up on yours. One. Yeah, one, one's blowing up on yours right here in the middle. I know. Wait, where's my bobber though? Oh, yeah. All right, I got right. it, I got it, I got it. No, yeah, your bobber's still up. Nope, he's just, that's your shiner pulling line out. This is cool. Are you moving? Eat it. Keep your thumb on the spool though while he's chasing it around. There you go. Now let go. Ooh, that looked like a good one. I hope he's as good as he looked. Is he taking line? Yeah. Yeah, let him eat it. It's hard to just sit there, isn't it? Whenever you're ready, make sure he gets the line tight before you set it. Get him. There you go. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big fish. <laughs> Stay on the hook. It looked big. We'll see. It doesn't seem big. Sure's down too? Yeah, but he might just be running towards the boat. Keep Bring your rod tip this way a little bit, remember? There you go. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. Now go back this way, go back this way. A little bit. Oh, stay off the boat, stay off the boat. There you go. Oh. Oh. That's a nice one. There we go. Up your mouth. There's a nice fish there. Eight. Eight. <laughs> no, another four pounder, four and a half. When he, when he, you got one too? There we go. Oh, yours came off. Oh. You're good, bud. Yeah, that was a good hook set though. He swallowed. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me show you how to make him look real big. So, put your put your fingers right there. No, your finger, your finger, right there, and hold it like that, and hold it up. Hold on, let me see. Let's stay right there. All right. I can throw them back on this side. Nice. That was probably four and a quarter ish in that range. He's dead. Uh oh. Um, later, will you like? Can I video how you tie that knot? Yeah, I'll do it right now. Okay. All right. 
Don't watch yours, Dalton. Oh, did it just get crushed? Just leave it down there. Let him run. Hold on one second. All right, so you got a lot of slack, so go ahead and flip your bail over. Don't set the hook right away. Go ahead and start reeling it up. Wait till you feel them and put the whammy on them when you feel them. Keep going. Can you feel anything? Get them, get them, get them. There you go. I love the old school drag sound on those. That's like the old school sound. I could probably tighten that up a little bit. Nice. <laughs> Are you going too? We got a double. Oh, he didn't get off. No, he didn't get off. Yeah. Get a good picture from it. smile. All right, so what hand do you want to hold it with? Put your, put your fingers here. There you go. Now hold them out from you. Like that. We got a double. Dad's letting the kids catch the bigger fish, which is fine. Can you see him? There we go. That's how you tie a Palomar knot. Watch this. You got to double the line. You ready? Yep. You got to double the line. But what I used to do when I was younger, I would try and double the line and stick it through, which is a pain to do because then you're crimping the line. So just stick it through one. It doesn't matter which way you go through. And then the same way the hook came out, the line came out of the, the eye, you push it back in there. So see how it's doubled now? You have the loop end and then the main line and the tag end, okay? You're gonna take the loop end and tie your basic overhand knot like this. See that? Halfway pull it tight. Now you have that loop left over. See that? Take that loop and if it's a lure or just a hook, whatever you're tying on there, if you have a big long lure on there, you wanna make a bigger loop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take the loop here and swing it all the way over whatever you're tying it onto and pull it up here. And then you kind of halfway pull everything tight together. See that? That's it. And then, what did I tell you not to do before? Don't bite the line. Don't bite the line. So you double it and then tie a regular knot and then bring it over. Exactly. Don't bite the line. <laughs> and then don't bite the line. Don't pay attention. Down again. Yeah, don't just click it. What he does. Get that line tight. Now get him, jerk, jerk. There you go. What you got on there? Uh, oh, it's, oh, wow. Bigger than I thought he was. That was kind of lethargic, wasn't it? Jeez, now he's awake. That was a weird <laughs> deal, wasn't it? It's a nice fish. Yeah. Look, he's hooked, he had the shiner by the tail because he's hooked yeah, underneath. underneath. You want to get a picture, Dad? Yeah, I do. He's also blind to one eye. Yeah, I got all his stuff on. See this eye here? See that one? Yeah. Look at that one. Oh, uh. See how he's blind to one eye? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, hold him up, though. This fish's name is Lefty. Got him? Oh, here, you can, here, let go, let go with that hand so you can get a better grip. There you go, hold him on that side. There you go. And release him on that side. Nice. Here's that stand, you gotta stand up, dude. You're not gonna be able to. We caught them okay out in the middle. We had a couple good fish, missed some, and then they stopped. I don't know. Hey, let me let me call you back later. We got one acting weird. All right, that hit it weird, but is it taking line? A little bit at a time. All right, whenever you're ready, make sure you get your line tight. Can't tell if it's a bass or not. 
Got him real, 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 real. There you go. Real. Keep, don't drop your rod tip, though. Just keep, keep that rod tip up. Good. Bass. Oh, you got to set the you didn't set the hook. Hold on, hold on. Wait and see if he comes back and hits yours again. Oh, it's a chain pickerel. I want a picture of that. Yeah? That funky. Here, let me see him. It's like a northern pike, but but I not. That's it. why it hit it so weird. You want a picture of it, but you don't want to touch it? I don't want to touch his mouth. I got lots of teeth. Burp. See? Did I even hook him? Yeah. Then the hook turned under his, when, it, when he broke the line, it turned out it was gill there. Take a picture. Teeth. What's it related to again? Northern Pike. It's a cousin. Nasty cousin. You got one? Yeah. Did you know your bobber was under? No. Sleep at the wheel. What do you have? It's a bass. He just woke up. He just went down the grass. Oh, don't put your hand up higher. Reel, reel down and point at him. Point straight out and pull towards you. Oh no. Oh man, what's he in? Let me see the rod real quick. There you go. Just pull slow, slow, slow until it rips. You got a 10 and 2. You know what that is? Yeah, two pounds Yeah, and 10 pounds of grass. Actually, it's not a bad fish. That's a good way to use the last shiner of the day. That thing's actually pretty big. Yeah, mud bass. Did you see how, though, when he got hung up, um, when you lift up on them when they're hung up in the grass like that, your rod tip's absorbing all the pressure. And if you put your hand way up the rod and pull, that's how you break rods. Because they're not supposed to bend from up here. Okay. So if they get that hung up, the best thing you can do is to reel down, point straight at them, and just pull like that. But don't start yanking. Just pull and slowly rip that grass away. Not a bad one. Two and a half. There you go. He found a lot of them. Just gotta get that first one in the boat on artificial. <laughs> it's, a, it's about a third of the size of the one you hooked a minute ago. I'm out of your way. See where we're at though? We're right in front of my fence line now. See that? Up in here? That's my fence line. Woo! I let that one eat it for about seven or eight seconds once he hit it. Because I could just see the way he was tapping, I could tell he was kind of smaller. It's two old guys though, man. I thought... <laughs> I can't tell when I have one and when it's just like getting stuck on weeds. Well, so here's what you do. If you think it's if you think it's something, stop. Just stop and keep steady pressure on it without pulling on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So whatever whatever pressure on that rod that you felt that made you think it was something, just stop. And if it doesn't change at all, if you don't feel anything pulling back, then it's just a weed. And you can even put a little pressure on it. But if you notice that all of a sudden now it's going the other way, then it's probably a fish. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. But don't just like jerk all of a sudden, because if it was a fish, it, you wouldn't be given enough time anyway. Old guys two, young guys zero. But nobody's keeping track.
So we got this coming at us. You guys have a good time catching them? Yeah. You have a good time? Learn anything? Yeah.